Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. So now I want to talk about this last case before I leave. We got to talk about this situation with Krishan. Krishan and I'm Blueface. This is sad. It's, it's really sad what's going on with them. She came out a few days ago and said that basically Blueface was putting hands on her. And a lot of folks were very upset. They were telling her that she needed to leave Blueface, that she needed to move on. And people were giving her really solid advice. And then now today she comes out and says that she's walking it back. It was too much Casamigos. So we're going to go ahead and listen to what she said the other day. This was just heartbreaking. And I've met Krishan. That's the part that really bothers me with this. Because when I met her at Jason Lee's party, I had a really heart to heart with her. Like I really spoke to her like a big sister. And I told her, you know, you are a talented young woman because she does make like some decent music. Right. And I was like, you need to focus on that and stop with the antics. Let people know about you where you come from, the things that you've been through. I was like, you have a story to tell. And I know that every time you cry online, you cry in those music videos, those are real tears. Those are real things that you've been through in your past. Like this is how I was talking to her. I wasn't on no fangirl type shit. I was talking to her like an auntie. And she literally almost started crying. She was like, I wasn't expecting to hear this in the middle of a party. She was like, you really touched me. She just gave me like the biggest hug. Like she literally like just grabbed me. You know what I mean? Just gave me the biggest hug. So it really hurts to like see her going down this path and her not listening. And I know people have tried to attack her siblings, her older sisters and say, oh, you know, that's your sister. Y'all should be grabbing her. Y'all should be doing stuff. But again, Krishan is grown. So people can only say to, so much to her, you know, but everybody wants the best for her. But it's, it's just really sad. I just it broke my heart to watch this, you know, because abuse is never OK. Any type of abuse is never OK. So let me play this first video for y'all. Give me my mouth. What are you talking about? Touch me in my eye. You're the so what? You bust my lip, bust my lip and gave me a black eye. Came to my book to pick up my money to disrespect me. I'm trying to get off the car while I was moving because I want to get off the car. You bust my lip and give me a black car. Then bust the lip, bust the nose, you're lying. No, I got a black eye and a busted nose and a big lip because I want to get off the car. Nobody told you to come to my booking to collect my money. You trying to me? You want to hit me in my mouth? Look at my lip. Did you punch me? No, I wouldn't lie because I'm not playing with you. I'm not covering up for you. I'm not, not covering up for you no more, bro. Day to day, you punch the front of me, pull my hair, shut up. You keep saying, you me in my mouth. What are you talking about? Punch me in my eye. You're the sh so what? You bust my lip, bust my lip, and gave me a black eye. Thanks to my booking to pick up my money to disrespect me. I'm trying to get off the car while I was moving because I want to get off the car. You bust my lip and give me a black eye. Then bust the lip, bust the nose, you're lying. Okay, so you guys just heard that. And you hear her saying um, that he showed up at her booking to take her money. So meaning that he also has, you know, his hands in her pocket. You know, just seeing her face like that is just very disturbing because there's nothing about that that screams it's just a game or we're just playing with each other. Those are real bruises on her face. So let me play with what she came out and said literally the very next day. It's just, it's frustrating watching this. It's fine, everybody's fine. No filter, no makeup. I had a bad trip yesterday. 
the Casamigo. Trying to jump on the car on the highway. Who's trying to keep me from jumping out the car? I fought that like trying to get the up out the car. He's trying to save me, and I'm just like, I just blacked out. It's fine, everybody's fine. Okay. <clears throat> It's just really disturbing to watch that, you know, because she's young. I think she's like, what, 22, 23, you know, and um, she comes from a very impoverished background. She's been through a lot. She witnessed a lot of domestic violence with her own parents. She has a ton of siblings. And I feel like she feels like she has to be in this situation because this is all she has. She feels almost indebted to Blueface because, you know, he's the one who put her on. We wouldn't really know about her like that if it wasn't for him. And what I'm seeing in this situation is a young man who's starting to become jealous of the fame or the fame monster that he's created. Because remember, the conversation was always Blueface and then Krishan. But now the conversation is Krishan. You have major stars like Lizzo even pretending to be Krishan for Halloween. You have Krishan on these ratchet television shows making a name for herself. You know, people really like her. <clears throat> they like her energy, you know, and I think it really bothers him because all the other girls he's been with from the baby's mother to the other ones, they've always been in the background. They kind of knew how to play their position. But people are really fucking with, with Krishan. They really like her. She's trending every other day. And I think that's what's really bothering him. I think that he doesn't like that. He doesn't like the fact that he doesn't have control, as, as much control over her. And he's taking whatever frustrations that he has because her fame is starting to surpass his. He's taking that frustration out on her. There was a video I saw a few weeks ago on, on Twitter where he literally broke down a door, physically broke down a door in his home to get to her in the bathroom. And my issue is, who is filming all this shit? When they're fighting and arguing and slapping each other, because she's just as abusive as he is as well. Let's not forget that. She's put hands on him as well. Who is filming this? And why are they so okay with filming all of this toxicity and destruction of these two young people. Because he's young and she's young. And I believe that they're both messing up their lives by continuing with this situation. It's not a good look. She was on camera a few months ago crying about how when she got pregnant, he made her have an abortion. But then went and got the other baby mother pregnant again. And she was upset about that. They don't need to have no kids together. She doesn't need any kids right now anyways. I just don't think mentally, and I'm not saying in a disrespectful way, I don't think she's mentally adapt right now or mature enough to raise a child in her current situation. Because I see somebody who's always high or being fed alcohol constantly. She's constantly drunk. They're constantly providing her with all the vices to keep her going. I've seen them pull her out of a car, drunk as hell, put her in one of those luggage racks. Like when you go to like the hotel, you can ask for a luggage rack, place her on there and wheel her into the bedroom. It's just really, really disturbing. And I just, it's sad that, that, that to watch this, it's like, she's just going out she's spiraling out of control. Everything she said in that first video was real. Those were real tears. That was her being really upset. Those were real bruises. But now that her handlers, you know, Blueface and whoever else is recording all this foolishness, have talked to her and they're holding that bag, that money bag, that carrot over her head. Now she's coming back and she's, you know, denouncing and backtracking the domestic violence claims. I think they both need to get away from each other. They're both the definition of toxicity. And my biggest fear is that everybody's watching this with popcorn. Everybody's watching this sipping tea. But if that girl ends up beat to death or she ends up killing him, 
what is everybody going to say? It's almost like that's the next step. That's the next escalation. Everybody's just watching this. Nobody's stepping up to just stop it and say, look, this is enough. And I get it. They're grown. But I, I just don't want to wake up one day and I see, you know, Krishan or Blueface are not here anymore. It's, it's really sad. You want the latest news in the streets. Join a sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely tea TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely tea TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.